developing a skyline showdown, an iDrive attraction that's attracting criticism for its tall order. And a decision on its future is just hours away. This all centers on Skyplex, a project that includes a tower with a roller coaster. In one corner, the company that wants to build it. In the other, Universal, which fears Skyplex will disrupt its view. Sean Chaibot is live along iDrive. Sean? Well, Lisa, one of the biggest arguments, you put it there, is this new attraction's height. But by comparison, the Orlando Eye right there is over 400 feet tall. The Skyplex would be 570. This is new video of what the skyscraper roller coaster would look like if it gets approval by the county commission. But there's been a strong push against it, backed by Universal. Opposition flyers have gone out all over the county, including one to Mark Nijay. That flyer had a very, very counterproductive um, play on me. I was offended by it. The prominent lawyer and businessman now plans to go in front of county leaders to support the Skyplex. He thinks Universal wants to squash competition. This is a mega corporation that's putting its forces and its money to try to stop an entrepreneur from developing and doing something I think is fantastic for iDrive. Universal attractions are capped at 200 feet because it falls under city ordinances. But the skyscraper coaster is in the county and has no height restrictions. At 570 feet, this would be the tallest coaster in the world. Opponents say that height, added noise, light, and traffic are bad for the area. This is going to be talked about across the world. This is going to be a world record. This is going to be an icon in Central Florida. So why would you not want to have that in the tourist destination? What kind of message does this send to other entrepreneurs, other investors who want to come to Central Florida, knowing that they've got to face these challenges and it's just not worth it? They'll pack up, take their money, and go elsewhere. Now, Nee James says that he plans to say that and more before the county commission as they vote tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we are going to be there and let you know what they decide. Lisa. All right, Sean Chaibot reporting live along iDrive tonight. Thank you.